packing some product today. Do you want to help me? Sure, I like vacuum packing. It helps us extend the quality of our food. Exactly. Vacuum packing eliminates the air from the packaging or the head space and this actually slows down the bacterial growth and the enzymatic activity. Also, if you want to freeze the product, it will prevent the ice crystal formation that in a long storage, it will cause freezer burn. Oh, I see. The smaller packet also allow consumers to handle this convenience at home. So how do we vacuum pack? Well, vacuum packing is pretty easy. You just need to be familiar with your machine. And let me just show you how to set it up. Depending on the type of unit, you might be prompted to set based on time or percentage of vacuum. In this unit here, for example, you're going to be setting by time. You will need to set the vacuum time that, for example, can be set at 20, 25, or 30 seconds. Then you set your time uh, of seal and your cooling time. Oh, I got it. The longer we vacuum, the more air we remove from the packaging. Exactly. The level of vacuum or how tight you want the bag, it will depend on the time of vacuum. The longer you allow to vacuum, the tighter the bag. So what about the machine set by vacuum percentage? In this case, this machine is set at a vacuum percentage. You can set it up at 85, 90, or up to 99%. But how do we choose the vacuum time or the vacuum percentage? Well, all that depends on how tight you want your product and also the capacity of your machine. So it is very important that you know what capacity your machine has to do the vacuum. Wow, I learned a lot about machine today. As a food microbiologist, I would like to point it out, there are some food safety concerns for the vacuum packed product. A bacterium named Clostridium botulinum can grow and produce toxin when there is no oxygen in the package. Oh, but then how do you prevent them from growing? There are some situations that do not allow the growth of this bacterium, such as the pH of the product. However, the best practice is to freeze the ROP product right away after packing and label it with a statement. You can see this type of statement on a lot of ROP products. It says, keep frozen, remove from packaging, and thaw under refrigeration immediately before use. That's really good information, Winnie. Remember, when you are vacuum packing your product, it's very important that you know how your machine works and keep your product safe by labeling correctly.